Good day, I'm Sandra from Plum Good Quilting, and today I'm working with another one of Kim Deal's beautiful designs that she did in Simple Blessings back in 2004. It's a lovely book, and I've used those applique pieces many, many times. However, today I thought I'd give you a little sense of how I um, sometimes can take an, a pattern apart, uh, like in one of the past videos for applique, and every now and then you run into a little issue that needs to be dealt with. And in this particular pattern, when I broke it apart, I ended up, let me transfer the pieces here, I ended up with this that, um, as you can see, had elements in it, like this one, that just weren't going to be good to applique. They needed to be fixed. Here's another one that, right up here. And it was this one, this one, and this one, all three leaves, that had a problem. I could have done it, but it just would have been a lot more work. So let me show you how I took care of this issue. Uh, first of all, I got this, and I duplicated both the elements before I s started messing with them because, you know, we make mistakes and not you might not have it work out the first time the way you want it. So always do a duplicate before you start. With this one, I'm going to start with this right leaf and I'm going to use an eraser tool. I'm going to clip this corner and this corner, go up here and get my select tool and I'm going to select all of this and right click and ungroup. Now you see I have two pieces. So now I can go up here and rid us of this piece. And so all I have to do at this point is double click on the element that I'm working on and choose one of the red marks or points and see that now this is all one piece. Now it's ready to fill with a color. Okay, this one here, the little bloom, that goes right over here, you can see the bloom, it would look pretty funny and would be awfully hard to work with. So this is how I did it. I ended up choosing to do a uh, ellipse tool and make myself an oval and then I decided that I knew I needed it to come up quite a ways and I needed it to come down quite a ways because I want it to sit inside here uh, so that if, if the red goes around the black, it's going to be enough to where it's going to cover or come out to the outside of each line and not give me a problem when I start working with it as an applique. Because now if I select both of these by drawing the lines around it, I'm going to right click and weld and again now I have a very nice piece to work with. If I decide that maybe I don't like the um, I don't like the way these are sticking out, I can delete a point, okay, and maybe I want to just drag that out a little. And maybe this one just has a twist problem. Uh, from what I can tell, I use one of the little uh, points there to change out and I can also delete another point. That also helps. But the point is, is that there are very quick ways to make something work for you. Then you can take it and see that it goes over here much better and I can size it to the size I want um, according to this. I could bring this down and make it correct for the size that I'm working on. Then I know it's going to go under the, the stem area. I'm going to pull this back off of here. We're going to see if we can grab it there. And now this one and this one are both ready for applique. And all I did was trace them and do a couple of corrections and this beautiful applique is ready to cut. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you see that there are some wonderful ways to do it and this is not the only way, okay? There are many, many wonderful ways to, to change up these uh, designs because it's yours now. You've purchased the pattern, you've purchased the book, you've purchased the fabric and 
Kim Deal is going to keep bringing us all these beautiful things to use and use them in a way that suits you because she always wants to know that you used her things to make a beautiful quilt for your family. Signing off for today and hope to see you tomorrow.